two.
which is werewolves and warlocks. Welcome. Let yourselves in, if you dare. I am Hugo Herriman, your humble host and narrator. I know you must be surprised to see me. The word from Austin is, he is busy. Austin has been away from this show, editing his movies. He has a 16-episode series available in 2023. He tells me by Christmas time he will have it all finished with just micro-edits needed afterwards. He has the soundtrack from Chris Phoenix and Mark Allen Miller. Matt Caden also has some music we might use. Glenn Young also wrote music for this. The title, you ask. What is the title of this upcoming 16-episode series? The title, my friends, is The International Ghost Police. It will be told in 16 different episodes, each each 30 minutes in length. The International Ghost Police. That is Austin's next production, a 16 episode series with soundtrack and voiceovers from a lot of stars that I do not want to name right now. We have to wait till we are finished with that that production before we go ahead and advertise it. Advertisements. Advertisements. Mm, So many advertisements on TV these days. What I feel like I need in my life is more advertisements. But my advertisements, as advertisements for me and my movies, those were what Austin told me. Those are the words that Austin told me. He said he needs a break from doing his shows, which is why he hired his favorite hangman, Hugo Harriman. I have a quick tale to tell. It is a tale. I have a quick tale to tell. It is the tale called all the horror, horror in the tower. Horror, horror, horror. It takes place in a historical city in the Northeast called Boston. And it, and it, and it transpired near the Boston Harbor. Close to the financial district, this area was known as Boston Harbor West End and the builders there built building land extensions and then the wealthiest the wealthiest of investors and then the wealthiest of investors were funding more constructions and the buildings were built near the Boston Harbor As time passed, the majority of these buildings lay empty. The horror in the tower. No one could afford to pay the dementedly high rent cost. These landlords were truly terrible. The horror in the tower. A 
couple, both CNAs, newly married, were looking for affordable housing in Boston. Collectively, they made $2,200 a week. They pooled their resources and tried to get a low-rent house they could rent. They were denied. Oh, the horrors of the rents in Boston. Oh, I don't need to tell you. If you live in Boston, you know what the f I'm talking about. We want to mention a particular musician who has passed away recently. Dan McCafferty, lead singer of the rock band Nazareth. Hugo Harriman's favorite albums are No Mean City, Razamanaz, Loud and Proud, Expect No Mercy, a Scottish band, Nazareth, Nazareth. Yes, you need to discover them. Oh, I see you there. Come in. Come into Hugo's dwelling. Come into the Storo Drive Nighthawk show. You can forge the signature on your autograph in the hotel register. I am Hugo Harriman, and this is my last, <clears throat> my last assignment here, my last appearance. October 48th. We recently celebrated Veterans Day, and we want to give a shout out to the veterans. Those who have served to protect our country and the countries of other countries. We also want to give a shout out to Eric Bloom and Buck Dharma. Songwriting entities of the Blue Oyster Cult. They are truly veterans of psychic wars. As I say, it is like a trip to the great outdoors. Welcome. Let us set up camp here in this deep woods area. Unzip the zipper. The plastic house enclosure. Yes, yes, enter the content. That is what Hugo Harriman is assigned to do, provide content. And the clock keeps on ticking. And I have no B-roll shot to get to. I guess I could try to show the outdoor area again. Let us see, let us see what happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that cop will pay my $30 ticket I got last time I was here. As you can see, they have closed up shop outside at that shitty restaurant that is next door, Artifact. I'm sure it's a good restaurant. However, they occupy parking spaces. Cambridge has allowed for these restaurants to do that, and which is fine. I guess I'm getting a little too personal there, but I did use to park my car right in front of this place. The haunted studio, I could look outside and see my own vehicle parked there. It's a silver car. I almost celebrated because it's got 190,000 miles on it. And that is no shit, as the kids say. Again, we should, we should, we should remember to thank Austin Rutledge for allowing us on. The update from Austin is he's busy editing 
16 episodes, each episode approximately 25 to 30 minutes long. I told you the title, but I'll say it again. The International Ghost Police? Each episode will also have its own title, and the first episode's name is On Patrol. We don't want to give away too many secrets. I did agree to allow for someone to come on tonight. I must say, you say to yourself, Hugo, are you doing this one solo again? But I agreed to have a guest. Maybe it was a mistake. Maybe it was a big mistake. We'll find out, though. We're gonna find out. Just don't get your, don't get your, <laughs> don't get your popcorn in a bunch. We do have a visitor, a guest coming on, and he has asked that I do not talk while he is there. However, I'm sure I will a bit, but let us welcome this guest. This guest is from the West Coast. And he says his name is Tony. Later, huh? Yeah, come and look at me. Hey, Hugo, it's your buddy, Tony. Hey, hey, yeah, yeah. How about them Eagles? Ooh, I'll tell you, oh, this show has Philadelphia connections. Oh, maybe they're from Connecticut, too. Oh, 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 oh to find out the truth about Hugo. Oh, that's what I'd like to see sometime. But I hear it's your final episode. I hear that after this, you're done. You're officially going into the casket, and you'll be incinerated. That must be rough on you, Hugo, huh? I feel bad almost, but... Thank you again, but uh, you can go ahead and say a few things if you feel like it. Oh, are you taunting me? Who, me? Hey, this is your buddy Tony. Yeah, yeah, I got a few whiskers. Uh, I got a few whiskers up in arms about hearing about how you're, how you're having a show. And I used to know you back in the day. I used to know you back in the day, and you barely even recognize me now. You know, it's like I got to beg for a spot now. Oh, oh, that is true, that is true. I, I didn't even ask you to be here, and you almost just came out of the blue. Oh, that's what I do, that's what I'm all about, yeah. Tony, Tony from out of the blue, yeah, it's across the street. The out of the blue gallery used to be. Now, I, I gotta live in Waltham. Oh, Waltham's a historical town. Yeah, well, you try to tell them that to all the liquor store people, okay? Jeez. <clears throat> I already know the rents are high in Boston, so don't, don't even start with me, Hugo. Oh, Tony, you're opening up to me, Tony. I'm learning from you. Oh, learn this, all right? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, I'm not really allowed to swear. Uh, what the fuck? Is that all you have to say? Yeah, that's all I have to say. All right. Oh, and uh, I did get a special message from the fans that you have, which is like three people, and they say more music. We want to hear more music, so let's hear it. All right, that's enough from Tony. We'll see ya. Oh, yeah. 
us. Hmm, let me think now. Hmm. Oh, let's see. They want to hear more music. Well, that will allow me to stretch out my vocal cords, what's left of them. Hmm, will the maggots allow me to do that? Let me think now. Hmm, you know, I suppose I could sing a song or two. If only I had someone playing music in the background I could sing to. Yes, I have a song to sing. It's an interesting song. I haven't sang it in a while. <clears throat> I think I can sing it though. Let me just get ready. Civil War. We need to re-record that in a studio like Wooly Mammoth. Oh, get back to me on that. Oh, just need a little funding. Ooh. Oh, I suppose I should, I should take a step back, take a step back and 
thank my guests. Thank you, Austin Rutledge. Thank the city of Cambridge for letting me do my shows for the last time here at the Haunted Studio. Oh, thankfully, I've had my engineer and producer nearby. Oh, maybe he'll pop his ugly head in. Oh, I think so. I think it could be. It could be happening. Oh, oh there he is. There he is. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he, he says, he says, thank you. Thank you. Oh, Hugo, Hugo. Yes, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm here. I'm not sweeping a chimney. And maybe I bagged eight bags of leaves the other day because of the season. I must acquiesce to the producer who has said one more guest. We will have one more guest before the show is done. Who could it be? not to do that. No, I'm allergic to cats. Oh, the time is nigh. Just remember, ghouls just want to have fun. And thank you for watching us again. My final appearance, Hugo Hill.